still to this day stuns me. Marshall Rogers did some of the coolest capes I ever saw. Todd McFarlane's capes are awesome. And if he said he got them from Marshall Rogers, we have to go to the source. Turns out Marshall Rogers has many of the traits that McFarlane used in his early work, especially in Infinity Inc. Here, this hand, the telephone panels, and basically that whole looseness of the layouts. But let's go back even further. So the first appearance of Batman had this strange cape by Bob Kane. Then capes became small for a couple of decades. Enter Neil Adams in the 1970s, sets that parachute shape up for many generations. So in a way, Marshall Rogers wasn't that different, but he does make the cape bigger, sharper, and cooler in the late 70s. And when McFarlane gets his first shot at Batman in 1988, he goes way sharper, way bigger, and more iconic. By the way, this Mike Kaluta in 1972 has an awesome huge cape as well. But yeah, McFarlane kept going and in 1992 he went even further. So how do we draw this cool stuff? This is basically the shape of a cape, like the bullfighters use. And it has two important lines. The edge on the front side, which will mark as blue. And the bottom, which is green. Back to Marshall for a sec. This is a classic superhero floating cape. And the money shot line is the green one. The wider and curvier that green line is, the cooler the cape shape. Like that classic Superman cape. And even McFarlane follows that rule here which looks much better than real life. We got the blue, the wavy green all over the place. And then a third type of line, let's use purple, is the pull line. By the way, if you know where this image is from, let me know in the comments. I've never seen this and I thought I read every McFarlane book ever. Okay, so about those purple pull lines. Quick example, Superman from the back. Two blue lines, wavy green, purple. And here you see the pull lines disappear. So the rule to this is find out where the cloth is being pulled from. So in this case, I would say these two points, the left point for the left side of the cape. Imagine a line going like this from the top to the bottom and remember all the extremities of the green line it touches. So that's these points. So yeah, then draw those lines getting pulled to the pull point. Of course, that second one is behind the cape. Third one still behind, but then this one is on the front again. And then you can actually choose to draw the full line or kind of fade them out. These two McFarlane Supermen are a bit more in his spawn style. He still follows the rules, but you see the green line getting sharper and straighter. Like I said, the Batman cape has those Neil Adams points on the green line. But then McFarlane takes a lot of freedom with this shape and it's almost impossible to trace that green line. But that's why McFarlane became so big, because he broke all the rules. And yeah, check out this spawn. When he was still a teenager, he already drew spawn. Yeah, perfect green line rules. Just imagine that it goes on in the back and it's a perfect one smooth line. Then there's the first promotional spawn piece. Actually still by the book, just lots and lots of lines. But check out this cool one. It's just geometric triangles all over the place. And analyzing it, I'm even having trouble finding the actual shape of the cloth. But again, yeah, doesn't matter. It looks awesome. Let's give it a try. Bizarre world Superman with long hair, the mega long cape plummeting towards Earth. Um, okay, take two. Let's do Evil Hell Batman. And why not do a Spawn 1 homage cover? So same pose, just the head, arms and a lot of cape. Throwing a Batarang. First try. You remember that Batman spawn crossover? The screen is perfect, I think, for this.
And I didn't mention this, but uh, how a shape goes over the shoulders has basically been the same since the start of comics. Kind of like layers of dough that make up a croissant. Okay, I'll start with the color fades and then see how much black I'll add because I don't want to make it too black. Add some more of the purple type lines, starting to look cool. I'm happy. I'm happy with how this turned out. Hope the explanation was clear with the green, blue, purple and croissant dough rules. <laughs> Catch you next time.